in 2010, I had this crazy idea to train a single neural network for all of NLP. In 2018, we finally really built the first model uh, that invented prompt engineering, where you can just ask one model all the different questions you have. And over time, of course, you can ask questions not just over text, but also over images. And so I think next, one of the answers to the, the panel's main topic of what's after ChatGPT is that we have many more multimodal models. You'll be able to have conversations over images. You have seamless inputs and outputs in not just the modality of text, but also programming, which is a huge unlock. Uh, visual, videos, images, voice, sound. But one really interesting modality that not many people have quite realized yet is that of proteins. Proteins are essentially the basic Lego blocks of all of biology. Everything in our body is governed by proteins. And you can create a protein just like you can ask uh, a large language model to write a sonnet for you or a poem for your wife. You can ask an LM to create a specific kind of protein that will only bind to SARS-CoV-2 or only bind to a specific type of cancer in your brain. And what that means is that we'll unlock a lot of different aspects in medicine. So I'm extremely excited about the future of LMs going into different modalities. And we're seeing that with DeepMind's products in, you know, in uh, Alpha Proteo and, and such. So we had a conversation in back, but I didn't hear the answer. <coughs> and the question is basically, is there an upper limit to intelligence? And you know, we've talked about, and we just did a conclave on digital superintelligence and how fast we're going to get there and what does it mean. 